guys so today we're gonna go over our expense tracker so let's go and see as so you guys know i have mines in my google notes so i'm gonna go ahead and flatten this out you guys let's see so as you can see this is my expense tracker um let me see i'm trying to figure out how to better view it for you guys i think standing it up is better so i'm gonna leave it like this okay so <clears throat> i am gonna do a little comparison of between january and february expenses see what we did better and what we didn't do better so i am not gonna go based on count we are gonna go based on category yeah so <clears throat> no subcategory sorry yeah okay so we are gonna go based on subcategory so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a screenshot and this of February subcategory. Okay. And okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my good notes. Okay. Guess I should have made it a little hold on let me make it a little bit better actually let me do january first and yes this has subcategories so now you guys will see why i'm taking a screenshot i think it's a lot better and a lot faster <clears throat> Okay, so let's do January 1st, and then we're going to take a look and do February. Okay, so I am going to add... This is January. And I'm going to go ahead and add February as well. Yeah. So, as you guys can see, I have it set up here. Let me go ahead and make it a little more specific. And let me add... Oh, I had it. January and February. Just so we have it. So this is something I'm going to do on my notes page. So then eventually March is still not completed. So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to leave it like this. And when March comes around, uh, in April, we will do this again for March. We'll compare February and March. So, <clears throat> um, technically, I guess for what I am going to cut back, medical is going to go to just spending. But pretty much I got eating out, grocery bills, cash stuffing, car spending, and business. So those are the pretty much the things that I wanted to have category comparison. So anything that's like medical or wants, they're just going to go under spending category. Um, that's how I categorize it. So all that just goes to spending. But everything else, <clears throat> even like debt, is just going towards the bills category. So if I do have debt and it's not here, it's just going towards bills. Because technically that is a bill. Um, okay, so first things first, let me go ahead and categorize eating out. So 
So obviously, eating out, we have January 792.75. So let's go ahead and put that. Point 0.75. And eating out for February, it went up like a lot. So, 1,085.99. So, that jumped quite a bit. So, obviously, whenever March comes in, I'm going to compare it to February and then do a second difference there. But uh, March, we're still in the middle of March, so <laughs> my expense is not all there. Okay, utilities and bills. So our utilities and bills will include the debt as well. Oh, wait, let's go ahead and get grocery out of the way. Two ninety eight seventy two. Okay, so two ninety eight seventy two, and then the grocery over here was six fifty five forty three. So you guys see a pretty big jump in groceries, for, and again, this is for the whole month. So out of the next one, then I will do bills. Okay, so bills over here, four thousand. 2072 plus the debt, which is going to be included in bills, 1854.91. So that totals our bills for the month of January. So okay, and then the February bills. went to 2850.11 so our bills went down drastically this month and that's mainly because in january we paid a couple months ahead for our rent so therefore our bills went down this month okay then the next category, cash stuffing, which I didn't really do much in January, but I did 200 in February. So this will be a zero and this will be 200. <clears throat> car. So in car, and this is only tracked what we spend in gas, um, mainly for the year end because we do Uber DoorDash. We do want to keep track of all the gas because that is something that is an expense that comes out it's not an income so you got to let them know that that's part of your income okay your expense 447.25 was january and february car was 335.05 Okay, so I mean, obviously there's some places where it went up and down. Uh, nuts is spending. So again, spending will be including in wants. So our spending for the month of January was 126.79 plus 56.19. So our spending slash wants was 182.98. And in February, spending was eight ninety seven sixty seven. Okay, our business um, is in January was three twenty seven twenty. Oh wait, you know, you know what? I just realized in spending, I probably didn't add the medical down here. So let me double check. So spending would be spending wants medical. Yep, 
Yep, see, two fifteen sixty one. See, glad I double checked that. Okay, two fifteen sixty one. And like I said, this one doesn't have many categories because I try to keep it all within the ones I really want to look at. Um, business. Okay, business. Obviously, went up. So this is from my Etsy shop. Three twenty-seven twenty. And for my February five seventy-two ninety six. Okay, so that is legit. It. So utilities and bills. Mm-hmm. Just want to make sure I got everything in there, guys. And then spending, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So that was done on that. And of course, it tells you right here the total. So utilities and bills. Um, yes, because includes debt. So that's done. Eating out. Yes. Spending. Got it. Got this. <clears throat> got this and got that. <coughs> so as you can see, this will have the total already for me so I don't have to do the addition. All I just had to make sure is that I got all the categories done, which I did. Okay, guys. So as you can see, even though it looked like we were spending more, we actually spend less in February. So yay! Oh my gosh, that's so great. That is our overall goal to spend less. So let's see. Ba -bam. Let's see how much less did we spend from January to February. And we're going to hopefully March will be the same, of course. So we spend a total of 1367 and 2 cents less than the previous month. Let me double check. Let me double check. Let me do it one more time. 7964.26 minus 6597.21 equals. Yes. Okay. So we are in the green as far as um, the difference between January and February. Which, that's always good. So whenever February and March comes, I'll put it over here. Um, overall, this is the important one. I did not want to do any of the other ones. But we actually did it. We spent less. We were so worried because, like, our we did see that our food went up quite a bit. And our groceries. But overall, since our bills went down significantly, we canceled some subscriptions. We did a whole bunch of things to kind of lessen it. Um... Now, one other thing I did want to show you guys, which I didn't include a little thing for it, but I will, is our income. So, obviously, our total income for the month of February, or sorry, I mean to see January. For the month of January, our total income was 8115 Now, January, um, I did sell a car. So that's probably why we also spent some money because we had a little extra money and we paid off some stuff. And our income in February was $5,000. So those $3,000 less, but we still managed to somehow spend less. <laughs> At least over $1,000. I think that's pretty good, you guys. So positive 1367 with five cents let me make this a darker green naturally okay 
But yes, guys, this is the overall goal. And I do think um, I might add like expense, like something like this, income minus expense in the future, in a future planners and also meal planning in it. So you will have two extra tabs at the top um, with the newer digital planners coming out just because I think this is important for us to know the difference, whether it's between one month to another, um, having your expense categories as well as have the income right next to it for like probably three months. So you will see the difference between each one. You'll compare January through February and February through March, and then you'll have two different steps. So I'm definitely thinking of doing that. Um, let me know what you think about it. And of course, this expense tracker, um, I'm almost done with like everything I think it needs. So, um, So yeah, I think, I think as soon as I see something or as soon as I think it's done, I'm going to put it um, in my shop. Now you guys can have this. I think it's so good because especially for me that I need to categorize it and I need it to auto add, auto subtract. You have like expense and income and then it'll help me for year end for tax season. Okay, you guys, but that's pretty much it for income. Like, I'm so ecstatic that we had a positive amount as far as, you know what? <laughs> I know exactly how I'm going to do it now. Hold on. Because I think it, the green is just too light for you guys to see. So I am going to do it a little bit different. We're just going to highlight that green. Let us know that it is a positive balance. So yay. Oh my gosh. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this mini expense tracker going over the month of January and February. And stay tuned. At the end of next month, we'll do February and March and do a comparison. Hopefully, we spend a lot less this month as well. Anyways, thanks for reading. Bye.